What is going on? It is Steve of Michigan Door Obsession. Just bringing some news to you I came across today. So I'm not sure how many of you guys knew about this or not, but the state was in the works to um, tear down 400 acres of state land up in the Gaylord area, Hayes Township. Um, and they were gonna have a contractor from San Diego come in and put in solar panels on 400 acres. Um, they actually went and they canceled it. Uh, and it's all because the governor is trying to suppose they have 60% renewable energy in Michigan by 2030. Um, and so they have scrapped it for now. The, the whole reason why they scrapped it, they said, and this is coming from the Detroit Free Press, they said the Michigan Department of Natural Resources will continue its halt of the new utility scale solar project. One sec here. Um, Utility scale solar projects on state managed forest lands until it works out a frame framework for how to consider such projects. Like I said, they had planned to tear down 400 acres, cut down 400 acres of trees, public land in the Gaylord Hayes Township area to put up, uh, to have a private company from San Diego come in to put up solar panels. Uh, it was luckily uh, state representative Ken Borton um, out of Gaylord uh, was the first to sound alarms over proposed Hayes, Hayes Township state land forest land being used for utility scale solar projects. Um, he said the DNR forestry officials contacted him in the days leading up to Bowen's ni May 9th email uh, and Borton said he was told the DNR was stopping solar projects sitting on state lands altogether. Now hopefully this is true. Hopefully they don't attempt to cut down 400 acres of state land anytime soon. Um, it doesn't make sense to me that you're trying to be green. You're trying to use, uh, you don't want so you know, you don't want uh, nuclear energy, coal energy, you want solar energy. Well, your solution to that is cutting down 400 acres of tree, 400 acres of trees. Um, doesn't make much sense. But luckily for now, it is halted. I'm not sure if it was halted because the truth came out and people started knowing about it, started asking questions. Uh, they say they want to find a better way to structure it going forward, but, uh, this representative Ken Borton out of Gaylord has, has made a statement that he's going to do everything in his power to make sure this never happens. Um, once again, just mismanagement by the DNR as a whole. Um, the fact that they use they use our land, our taxpayer land, like it's their own personal property, um, blows my mind. Uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I feel like it should be voted on, you know, by us, the taxpayers, the people that s spend our money, give our money and they're just gonna straight up make a decision that they're gonna cut down 400 acres of trees on state land. Now, luckily, I don't hunt state land. I have, but I don't need to, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there that do. And for them just to even think about, even the thought of it is wrong. Even, I, I, I mean, I understand they're, they're gonna cancel it now. They're not gonna go forward as of now with cutting down the 400 acres and putting the solar panels up. But the fact that you even thought it was okay the fact that you even had an idea that, hey, we should cut down 400 acres. Like, obviously there's kickbacks for somebody, right? Like we know how politics work. Somebody's getting a kickback. This company from San Diego that was gonna come in and even they pulled back because they probably saw the writing on the wall how much uproar there was gonna be over this. Um, but the fact that, that they were gonna come in, someone was gonna get a kickback out of this. I mean, we all know how politics works. Um, but I'm glad for now that it stopped. Like I said, I, I Leave state land alone, you know, make it better if you're gonna do anything. Don't tear down 400 acres of trees just so you can make green energy. Um, I'm not saying I'm 100% against green energy, but the solution isn't cutting down state land. Um, but anyways, I just wanna let you guys know, I know I, I, I just got brought, um, told about it, I don't know, probably a month ago, not even that, about it possibly happening. And then I started seeing, seeing more research, and then obviously I came across this today on the D Detroit Free Press um, page um, that they had finally put out a memo on May 9th that they were gonna be halting all projects for now. So like I said, hopefully it stays this way. Hopefully they don't uh, go any farther with this, uh, or you're gonna have a pretty bad upward. But like I said, once again, it's, a, it's, a, it's our state of Michigan, it's our DNR that, um, constantly mismanage our land, our deer, our fish. Um, we've talked about our hunting before, how it's so mismanaged, how they 
seems like we're the only state that doesn't know how to manage anything. You go to other states in the Midwest, they seem like they have everything dialed in when it comes to hunting and fishing. In Michigan, I feel like everything's a test. They're always testing new things. Trying this this year, we'll do this this year. Next year, we'll do this. Um, so it doesn't shock me that they would even bring this up because seeing how they do stuff in our state when it comes to hunting and fishing in our, in our public lands. Um, but yeah, the, like I said before, if they even have the thought, the fact they even had a thought about it, that it was even an idea that it was going to be okay to cut 400, 400 trees down, um, is, is ridiculous. So just wanted to bring it to your attention. So you guys know, um, so if you hear anybody talk about it, let them know that as of now it's been halted. It's not going to happen. Um, cause I know rumor mill spreads quick. I just want to make sure you guys had the facts, um, here on Michigan Outdoor Obsession. So thanks for your support, guys. Uh, we will have a brand new podcast coming up at the end of this week. Uh, we're going to talk to uh, our buddy Joe about our incredible coyote population that we have in the state of Michigan, the mismanagement of the coyote herd here, how it's out of control, um, and how it's affecting our deer herd. So we're going to talk to him in our, po our podcast of Beyond the Backyard. Like I said, uh, it will be up probably Friday or Saturday. You'll see it up on the page here. So make sure you hit that sub button, hit the notification bell. Um, as always, we always appreciate your support and uh, have a great rest of your Thursday. See ya.